Welcome to the DigitalLifestyle.com video show number three and today I'm going to be having a quick look at the Samsung Q1 Ultra Mobile PC, this little, this little baby here and we're going to be looking at the media center capabilities of it so this was actually um, came with a tablet PC operating system on it but I've uh, wiped it and put Windows Home Premium on it so it's got media center built into it as well so I thought it would make a good uh, portable media player, media player for around the home and there's a few different options on user interfaces there's Windows Media Center itself which works great with the uh, touch screen as you'll see later there's the Origami Experience which is uh, Microsoft's uh, UI just for ultra mobile PCs like this one and then there's Orb, Orb's 10 foot interface which you're going to have a look at which works really well on a small device of course the benefit of that means that uh, if you've got bandwidth issues around your local network or will take care of that but of course it will take care uh, of working over the internet so you could be in another location with Wi-Fi and you should be able to use your own connection to get your content so we're going to look at all three different scenarios um, this is one of the first generation automobile PCs and there's a new Samsung Q1P coming out which uh, supports the Aero interface. The Q1 is pretty basic, it's a seller on 900 with uh, gig of RAM but it does work surprisingly well with Vista and uh, it's quite a good, a good user experience. It's got Wi-Fi on it and uh, Bluetooth and so I'm going to be using the Wi-Fi to stream content from my media centre PC at the other side of the room using the wireless network. Before I set this up um, I actually did share out my media center content uh, there's a, a little uh, trick for doing this, a little guide that's uh, actually on Mike's digital home blog on digitallifestyle.com and he, he's explained how you can get media center PCs to share recorded TV so I, I've done that beforehand so we'll have been having a look at um, uh, how the three different user interfaces perform so first we're going to have a look at the origami experience Okay, first let's take a look at the Origami Experience software. Let's uh, load that up. This is the software that's written specifically for the UMPC. It works by touch and uh, pen. Because the UMPCs use a uh, touch digitizer um, and not an active digitizer like the tablet PCs, it means that you can use your finger, you can use a pen as opposed to the tablet PCs that have the specific pen so I'm going to use the, the pen but it works either way the nice thing about this software is you've got the status information across here at the top so I've got uh, the battery information there and uh, Wi-Fi signal and the clock and sort of the media information you'll notice this looks a lot like Media Center and Windows Media Player I can go into my library and have a look at the music that's in there I can pick an album and play an album. This is actually music that's on this machine rather than being streamed on the network, but it works either way. So just like uh, Windows Media Center, you can go through uh, different uh, ways of browsing through it. Overall, I think it's a, a nice experience. So it's designed with the touch in mind as opposed to that sort of MIDI sensor which is designed with the remote. Now you can use the hardware buttons on here, they've got the volume control. So you see, that's got a nice interface and uh, pretty easy to use. As well as the music on there, go back to the home. We've got videos, come back to those, and pictures. So now we can uh, just start off with that slideshow or listen to the music. Overall, oh, pretty, pretty nice, pretty, um, pretty friendly for this, uh, this user interface. 
Well, let's have a look at the video experience now. So I go to the video. Now what I've done is I've got some media center content on here. So this isn't from my media center PC. This is actually local attached. So uh, as you see here, the videos that are built into into media center. Okay, so this is some recorded a recorded TV. Now this is where probably the UMPCs are a bit underpowered because right, you can see it takes quite a while to get going. Well, it's going now. You see that's pretty good quality there. That's a DVB-T recording from my MIDI Centre PC. Um, stick some headphones in that, take it with you. You know, you've got uh, no transcoding involved, you can just copy the, the media center content straight onto it, so it works pretty nice. You've got the same skip functions as with media center. You can pause it. I can return back to the menu. So a pretty nice experience. Not like media center, but obviously designed for the uh, UMPC. One thing this doesn't do when I've watched this, if I quit the Ogami experience when I go back to later that I can't resume that recorded TV which uh, if you're watching say a film and you on the way and you're, you know, watch it on the train on the way to work and you want to continue watching it later it would be nice to not have to leave the, the program open all the time to go back to it later so, or fast forward it to where you're up to so I, I like that on Media Centre so we'll, let's have a look at Media Centre now Now what I've done for Media Center is over here we've got these hardware buttons here. Uh, these are user configurable and I've actually preset those. Uh, I've got the back, I've got skip, play and um, the more information buttons mapped to those. So the track little joypad over here is, use it, is for the uh, arrow keys or we can just use a touch. So if I want to go to recorded TV I can just touch it in there. Now this is set up differently to the origami experience. This is actually mapped directly to my Media Center PC. So all this content on here is actually coming straight from the Media Center PC as opposed to being locally like it was before. I do have some locally attached ones, but these are uh, these are network ones. So exactly the same way as before. I can pick a program and start watching it now. Now this is I found it does take a little bit of time to start these up because this is now going to be streaming over the network. It's using the A211G so it's, it works quite well actually but I found that they do take a little bit of time to get going. Guys from most of Great Britain. The only problem is that overnight it's set to go a little bit downhill. Temperatures dropping as low as one degree okay, above freezing really point. And as you can see a lot of cloud cover translating into some showers for some of us. Throughout tomorrow morning still the occasional shower around for the south. But so I can pause That's it, play it. You just skip buttons as you would do in Media Center, which is really good performance running over uh, a wireless network. I can go back. I've got the more information. I've got the. Traditional media centre keys there. 